Hello and welcome to this next episode in the video series where we're checking out some missions the Dungeon Crawler Game Jam of 2024. And this time we will have a look at Those Without Names by Rubikow or Rubikov. And yeah, let's have a look at the description here. A welcome adventurer. You are Roland and you awake as a prisoner in a strange environment. Can you escape? Maybe find help and stop the evil that is lurking here. A grid-based dungeon crawler roughly inspired by the Cthulhu lore of H.P. Lovecraft created in Gurad for the Dungeon Crawler Jam 2024 within 9 days. Have fun! Weapons cause different damage depending on your stats, so level up wisely. Alright, yeah, the interface looks quite, quite nice. I've seen um, uh, pictures, uh, screenshots of this of this frame here on Godard, uh, on, on Discord. Looks very nice. Um, but I, I think it's AI created, but uh, nevertheless, the result counts. <laughs> Um, controls, currently keyboard and mouse. Alright, attack by clicking on the symbol next to your character image. So the weapon symbol, I guess. Use WSD, arrow keys, del, page down or numpad. Okay, so WSD for me. Some objects in the dungeon must be clicked to interact with. Use shift and clicking in the inventory to drop items onto the floor. Okay, good to know. Coding, design, and sleepless crunch, all me, Rubikov. Graphics, mostly created yeah, using AI on blah blah and Aspirite. Sounds um, JSFXR from, yeah, music AI generated. And, and there the music in the background just died, I think. So I usually start the main menu for this intro and um, it just stops at uh, probably one playthrough or something like that. So the music is extremely well done. I mean, it's AI created, but it sounds great. Just that in the main menu, it just stops after one loop and it's just end. Anyways, um, so I already <laughs> downloaded and installed the game. Let's jump into it. And here we are in the game, those without names. And I started it in, a, well, in a window like the game starts up normally. You can force the game to start in full screen. It's a go dot game. And you can do so by just creating a shortcut and then start the axis with a minus F and that will force it into full screen. But um, I started it up before and I was a bit, um, yeah, I was wondering regarding the, the font because it's a bit hard to read and I was wondering whether that was because of the scaling the game does, but then I looked into it and it's, it looks like the inherent scaling the game is already doing in this, in this window is already a bit off. So, um, but I didn't want to, to alter it and now I will just show the game as it is. So, let's start a new game. So, um, a cold awakening and you can see that it's, uh, it's a bit hard to read. You are not aware how long you were gone, but slowly the senses of the real world come back to you. While unconscious, you had wild visions of things lurking in the depths of the oceans and beneath the stars. The first thing you notice now is that you are being dragged into a prison cell. Suddenly you are on high alert and as you are dropped to the hard floor, you spin around so fast that your roped guard doesn't stand a chance as you kill him. Yeah, also this continue here. You hear faint disturbing noises and screams. Your weapons and armor are gone. Hopefully they are still somewhere around. Look around. Alright, so... We have WSD, but I think... At WSD? Yeah, there's something going on automatically, I think. HALT! A voice shouts down the corridor. Hmm... All right, and you can maybe already see in the um, in this line here that it's a bit off. And let me attack. Or does he say something more? 
I can turn. I'm pressing space, by the way. I'm not sure why space is left turn. But yeah, let's attack. Roland hits Cultis for 5 using bare hands. Cultis hits Roland with strike for 2 damage. Okay. You can see that the A is cut off. Okay. And here you can see that the there is something from the... So there is an inherent scaling problem already. Pushing... Maybe this is not from scale... But there is an issue. You can't... The, the text is a bit mushed up. And if you scale that bigger, uh, of course, it's, uh, it's not helping. So um, I found a key in the ropes of that man. So let's have a look at how the controls work. Okay, now it works. Now with space I'm attacking and with WSD I'm moving as I would expect I do. So it's a bit weird that in the in the first um first section space is turning and you know well anyways it works now. Um the it's super quick and um the perspective is also Finish. It's too wide, so the uh, um, the tile in front of uh, us is a bit wider than it should be. But overall, it's it's still fine. Um, however, it's not queuing up commands, and this shows right away. So if we move forward and turn right, and if I press these buttons too fast, or turn left in this case, it's not turning left. So that's something I would uh, like to, to have. Um, so we have a, f a key, right? Uh, the key of the guard fits. Okay, you stumble over a loose stone on the ground. There's something hidden under it. Okay. Uh, can we move that? Ah, okay, that's the floor. We have a weapon. All right, and we can put, can we equip that? Yes, we can. All right. Um, mm -hmm. Can I close the, the inventory again? Pressing I, no, ah, okay, clicking on the portrait. Okay. Seems broken. Mm. We've got two more enemies there. So, yeah. Okay, let's let's first kill these enemies. Okay, maybe I should have waited if that's an option. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Okay. Well, uh, we made it. Um, but I think here you can maybe so. This this tile looks now relatively deep. Hmm. But this one... There's something... a bit off, but I can't really put my finger on it. Because this, now here, it's, it's not too wide. It's from the depth. It kind of works, but... Hmm. All right, let's move on. Hey, wait! A roped man shouts from the cell to, next to you. Get me out of here and I will help you escaping. You must... Uh, you just need to get me out of here first and bring me my spells and ropes. They took them down the hall into that chamber. Please hurry up! 
He reaches through the bars and touches you and your wounds close. Ah, and your wounds close. All right, thank you. Well, we needed that. It's locked and we don't have a key yet. Um, the, 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 did you get him? Someone from behind the door is shouting. Okay. There's a weird delay between between the actions. Right. So if I click even after the attack, nothing happens. I need to pause and wait and then click. There's something still being processing or something. Yeah, this this looks too far away now. Even though it's on the next tile. Alright, there's a note on the table. Uh, bring the belongings to the pr uh, of the prisoners to the quarters of the brothers and sisters. We all know what happened the last time we stored them so close to the cells. We don't want another brother... Brother victim incident. Do we? I will, um, after I, I played the game, I will restart it in full screen and then... Actually, I can just use the overlay here. One second. Let's take that one. We found a dagger. And the dagger is uh, 3 to 6. So it's the same, just more range. Ah, yeah, and we can increase the attributes and depending on what we do, we get, okay, different stuff there. Different bonuses. And that's our level up now. So this one has a closer range, so I will just go with the club. Yeah, let's just use that. And <laughs> signing, yes. All right. So let me try and put the overlay of um, Grimrock, for example, over that screen here. All right, so here it is. And obviously the tiles are much smaller, um, but let me try and adjust that. And of course the angle is also different. Um, yeah, it's... This would be the, the same depth. It doesn't look that far off. But uh, yeah, it's a bit a bit of a different perspective. Um. Anyways, let's continue. So we have leveled up, and oh, nice! We also have an an outside area. Monsters also look cool. M a mutated dog. Uh huh. It's attacking twice, or are there... No, there's a cultist probably to our left. I could have just moved. Can I pass the turn? But it's... N Enemy is not going forward, okay. Aha, uh -huh. we got some new item, another healing potion. Well, we can use the healing potions, if we really want to. What's this icon? Oh, this. Uh, this is still the portrait. The, the box for that is a bit bigger than it looks like. So this is for nothing. And this doesn't seem to do anything. Okay. There's also... Probably a bug that the, the cursor is changing here. Ah, because we will get the second portrait here and then we can um, interact with that one. Okay. This is locked and I don't have the key. Um, so what were you supposed to do? 
There is a note on the table bring the belongings of the prisoners to the quarters of the brothers and sisters. Yeah. Okay, so maybe that's in a in a different. Okay, maybe that's just here. Healing potion. And that's a mana potion. Okay. We can't, don't have the key yet. Mm. Okay, so maybe it's somewhere around here. Would I have liked to, to still have some atmospheric track in the background? Yeah, I think the tile size is, the, is it's just too big. It feels like I'm really jumping forward by a lot. This doesn't look like a tile, that, like the door is one tile in front of me. Okay, uh, we probably should drink something. Yes, and another. Yes. The intruder, quick, seal away the key to the yard so he cannot disturb the ritual. The key to the... I'm not sure why. Hmm. No, that's not doing anything. Or maybe this is not turn-based at all. It is. Okay. I should probably drink something. Okay, this is not counting as an action. It's also cool that this character also has this um, different face when he's getting hit. And another one. Uh, this will not leave a whole lot of hit points left. Mm. Well, we are getting somewhere. And we got an automatic here, so I'm supposed to increase the strength, right? Because with that I'm boosting my club damage. Alright. Uh-huh. This is locked and I don't have the key yet. Okay. Mm. There's probably another one. Yeah. Okay. What do we have here? An open left heart lies on top. The last monolith has arrived by ship from Innsmouth yesterday. The whole town is lost now. We have brought the monolith to the sacred temple and the gatekeeper is now able to hold the portals open. Glory to those without a name, Brother L. Hmm. Nothing of interest here. We can. Ooh, the shell can be moved. Uh, the shelf can be moved. Let's. Let me push it aside. Okay, let's first have a look at the rest here. Nothing else. Nothing of interest. Okay. More. Maybe we needed to go there anyways. Oh, a bed. And there's no way. Aha! 
Weighted dagger. Okay, this would have been a better item now, but it requires a dexterity. We can also see our experience points, 140 of 360. Okay. And now we are at 180, so we will not make it if I am not uh, using this. This looks like the room where they keep the belonging belongings of the prisoners. Mm-hmm. Leather armor, nice. Let's equip that. Healing potions. We've got a firebolt spell scroll. And basic ropes. Okay, this is then for the other character, obviously. But I didn't find a key yet. Mm, okay. mm, there was a secret. Oh, now they they moved. Mm. Or maybe they were just spawning. No, this one is moving. Hmm. This is going to the outside. And they are also approaching. Oh. Time to drink something. Bep. I don't think that I can, maybe I can select the enemy and there's just, let's, ah yeah, okay, you can see that the enemy which is targeted is highlighted, so let's kill that one first. It's very faint, but it is visible. And there we also have our armor class of six. Okay, what's luck? Luck defines your chance to strike a critical hit, raises your chance to find good and more loot. Ah, so the loot is randomized some way. But I will just go with strength for now. Okay, level four. The sacrifice are almost complete. The keeper of the gates has already been summoned. It's just a matter of time now until we are all devoured by our great old one. Praise thee. Okay. So these were, not sure if I'm supposed to, to get there. Can I, no, I can't interact with it. The chest is buzzing with energy. It seems magically sealed somehow. I cannot open it. Mm. This must be the kennel. Uh, the last one, we, we were here already. Well, let's, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Burp. Yeah, it would have been nice if there was, um, the enemies could have been more mixed. Um, I'm not talking about more, more enemy types. I mean, this is a small gem game, um, but just, well, types in the sense that there were already monsters and these creatures and maybe they do something different and or they charge up or something so that targeting actually made more of a difference uh, I didn't want to do that, okay Mm. 
60 XP. So are they respawning? Are they just random enemies there? Because I'm going back to the prison I, were com com I was coming from, right? Or am I moving into... Yeah, exactly. And apparently I also found the key. I didn't... I missed that if... Uh, well, anyways. Thank you again, my friend. You will not regret this. With this, the man pulls a small lockpick out of his rope and opens the lock of his cell. With... Okay, so we didn't find a key. Ah, we, we g gave him the rope. Okay, so I missed something else. With a cracking sound, the lockpick breaks, but the man is free and joins you in your quest. As you say. Okay. And this dude is... Um, yeah, let's turn him into a, a full-grown mage. <clears throat> Mana 4. Yeah, blam. So, okay. Firebolt spellbook. And here are some ropes. Mm hmm. Nice. Let's see how he is doing in combat then. Yeah, there is some. some respawn apparently. I don't think that we can see which character already used the turn. Can I hit a second time? No, I can't. Which makes sense, but... No. Yeah. Okay. Let's drink a bit. Now, I'm... It would be interesting to know what happens if one character dies. You don't have the key yet. Maybe this guy can open this magical chest we found before, like this one. Yeah, okay, let me read it over here. Ah, a tricky magical seal, but I can break it. Here we go. Baylor opens the chest and you find the key to the main yard. All right. And apparently this is a flag. This is not really an item. So let's go to the main yard. Was that the main yard? I'm not sure. It doesn't look too healthy. Mm. Yeah, this should be it. Ooh, ooh. Okay, we need to drink something. He has only 25 hit points and he's got seven, uh, 95. Okay, but there is no no tanking or anything, so he gets the the same amount of beating as that character here. Ah, they both have their own target? No. Okay, that was not very clever. Okay, so um, we are running into some some health issues, probably because I ran around too much. Oh, there's an another thing, a mega. There's nothing. Mm. He 
looks very dead now. Oh, so, okay, so he can't die. Um, good to know. The the portrait here wasn't changing automatically, but fine. So when we get our next level up in 100 head, um, mana uh, experience points, so it's like five, mm, ten enemies of those. It depends on the enemy types. 50, okay. That should be quicker then. 430. Uh-huh. Those who willingly give their blood to the stone and let themselves be eaten will find the path to the unspeakable. Strange. Uh, but he got hit points by that. Hmm. Okay. We got another dagger, which is useless to us. We got a new spell, which might be useful. Nine notes. Well, damage to all enemies. Okay, that's better then. A greater mana potion. I don't think I ever looked at the mana. I'm not sure if it's actually draining the mana. And a greater healing potion. Okay. Uh huh. A large key is needed here. The key on the chain of that cult leader leader looks promising. Which cult leader? This cult leader. Mhm. Mm uh. I think that broke the game now. This works. But this doesn't. Huh. Okay. Um, so we got a level up. Let's put points into Ind again. I will try that again, at least the game didn't get stuck, but I think that item might be broken then. Now it works. Okay. Oh. Can we jump into that? No. Hello, maggots. Oh, these are bigger maggots. Oh, but they don't have a lot of hit points. Oh. Uh huh. Mana potion. He stays at just 25 hit points and he's out of mana. Ah, so maybe I ran out of mana to use that and so I c and this one was still okay. Hmm. Okay, let's use the healing potion. Yeah, okay, exactly. So that thing uses more mana, so he needs... Or maybe this doesn't use any mana. Ah, okay, so he gets back some mana every turn. Or maybe not. Yeah, every move he gets some mana back, and this one is eating up more mana. This is also why I didn't realize 
there was an actual mana usage at first. That's interesting. Okay. More strength. Okay. And to 11. It is a bit annoying that he is not getting any additional hit points. Okay, we got a steel shield. Oh, the, I, I just realized there is a second hand. I didn't even see that before. But it's not like I could equip. You know, it's just for the shield, apparently. And apparently, only the character who can't die anyways can use the shield. Okay. Too bad. What are you? Um, the strange ornamental relief has an open hole where the sharp fanged mouth of the depicted creature is wide open. Blood is dripping from the stone, but you also see a lever in the lever in the stone throat of the creature. Why? Well, put your arm in, please. Okay. As Vela pulls the, the lever inside of the relief's throat, the sharp fangs suddenly bite into his arm, barely leaving it attached. The loud scream almost hides the sound of some rumbling platforms that move into place. You have definitely activated something, but the price is high. Hmm. Well then, let's drink a potion. This looks cool though. This is where we were coming from. Uh huh. Okay. We can use this now. Bams. Okay, another healing potion. Now I can hear some sound effects. Very faint. In the, like, ambient sound. I can't pick that up. Even though I've got... Well, let's use this one. And then... Okay. This works again. So I'm not sure what platforms we moved around. Yeah, we are getting closer to the noise. It's getting louder. We should probably move back because we're surrounded by these freaks. Ah, but I can't. Can I just cast? No. Nah. Okay, so he's out of juice. 
Mm. Let's explore this room first. Aha! Uh -huh. A master dagger. Okay, well, can't use that. The gatekeeper pulls its power from the monoliths which are manifested in this world by the something. Unmakers? We must protect the unmakers. Without them, the monoliths will fail to deliver the power necessary to finish the ritual. They are very shy and will run from everyone. I hope this will save them long enough to bring the great old ones back into our world. Brother B. So we need to kill the unmakers. Okay. Whatever that is. The area here is freezing cold, and you can see multiple open portals and sacrificed corpses on the floor. The cold seems to come from the three monoliths in the corners of the area. In the center of all this chaos stands a strange creature that seems to be connected to the portals and also to the monoliths. As you think about attacking it, other creatures arrive through the portals. Let them come! Let's go into that direction first. This is a flying horror. Worm. Worm. This is not connected though. So let's continue the path to the other side. There's some lights over there, but I'm not sure. I think that's the enemy which is actually running away. Oh, he's kind of dead. Um, and yeah, now, but let's shift and the button was, yeah. Here, yeah, that's enough for him. So maybe I just need to run into the opposite direction. Yeah, okay. It's still nearby, I can feel it. That was an imp. I... Ah, okay. It teleported away. And they don't stack for some reason. Two of them. Let's use this one. Ah, it summoned new creatures. Okay, here's some healing potion. And we actually need to use that now. And there's another one in the back. Three, let's switch around again. Bams. And level up. More strength. Smash. Okay. Bams. Switch that around again. 
and level up. Int, int. Okay, switch. Bams. Where has it gone? Mm -hmm. It's still nearby, I can feel it. Not that there's some kind of puzzle and I'm failing to see it. Okay, I need to drop that stuff now. It's getting... And now it stacks. Okay, so you need an empty space to pick it up and then it also stacks. Okay. Burp. I mean, we are now blasting through them. Ah, that's the first of them. Two more to go. Mm hmm. It teleported away. I guess we failed. Without the unmakers to... F oh no, I think we killed it. Well, I'm not, I'm not sure. Without the unmakers to focus the energy of the monoliths, the whole place is ripped apart and sucked into a cosmic vortex. You run for your life, jump across splinters of the former temple, and with a leap of faith, you dive into the abyss below. As you awake, you know that you are stranded here. And looking around you, you see that some of the creatures have made their escape as well. It seems that this is not the end. Alright, I think we made it. I'm not 100% sure. Now we have the cool music again. Thank you for a playing by Rubico. Alright. Yeah, the art was actually pretty nice. The enemy art, so the interface looked nice. The enemy art was uh, fine. Items and so on. You can see that it's enemy, uh, that it's AI art. Um, like how this pixel stuff is uh, is being put together. Like you can can see that because it's not real pixel art, but it looks fine. Um. The perspective, as I mentioned, is a bit odd. Uh, the, the tiles are maybe... Yeah, maybe it's because the tiles are so big. Maybe um, there's something with the depth or with the... Like, with the angle going on. I can't quite put my, my finger on that. Um, there were a few minor glitches, I think, with... Like what I, uh, the last thing I saw with the um, items which you couldn't put into, and like the sound now just stopping, the item you couldn't uh, pick up if you didn't have a free slot, even though it was stacking anyways. So things like that um, could be a, like polished up a bit, maybe even with. Uh, I mean, this is I'm recording this after the the jam. So I'm not sure if there will be um, a patch at some point um, fixing some of that stuff. Um, regarding the movement, I would like to see that it's queued up. Um, the the movement, otherwise the speed was fine, but it's still you still feel that you can't like your uh, turning command is basically cut off. So something there would be nice. And I think the the combat could it it felt a bit sluggish. It worked, but there was some some weird delay in there, so that maybe that was still processing something, but you couldn't hit again, even though nothing was happening. So overall, I think uh, it was a very nice entry, nice atmosphere. Even though I would have liked to have this a musical track in in the game as well. Um, 
And if you want to check out the game yourself, you can find a link to those without names from a Rubicow down in the video description, where you can also find a link to a playlist with all the entries I covered so far. And with that, thank you for watching and ho I hope to see you again next time. Bye bye.